Living paycheck to paycheck, every dollar counts. That's why Louisville Metro wants to save you money on some feminine and baby products. WDRB's Dakota Sherrick explains what Mayor Greg Fisher signed today. Dakota? Fallon, the two resolutions passed today urges state legislators to eliminate sales tax on diapers and feminine hygiene products. It's a move one area organization is happy to support. So we have these different diapers that we get. Zora's Cradle provides essential items to families in need. We're getting low on the tampons. That's about all I have left. But yes, yeah, so we have a lot of parents that come in and ask for these supplies. But keeping up with the need is tough, especially when it comes to diapers. When people come. Lots of times sometimes we don't have the size they need because it goes so fast. Co-founder Sammy Anderson says seeing that need firsthand is why Zora's Cradle is supporting Metro Louisville's push to eliminate sales tax on diapers and menstrual products. We don't have the power locally to affect the sales tax, but we can pass a resolution that urges others to act. Mayor Greg Fisher signed two resolutions passed by Metro Council, which encourage state legislators to eliminate the sales tax for those products. Anderson attended the signing, urging people to consider how saving a few bucks on these items can add up for people living paycheck to paycheck. To hear a mom say, I can't take care of my baby. Very heart wrenching. I see it every day and just a, just a little bit. A little bit makes a big difference. She's hopeful the resolutions will inspire state legislators to make the sales tax change, making critical products easier for families to access. As a female myself and a mother who's had a child and using feminine products as well as diapers or anyone who needs them, it's a necessity. It's, it's an essential service of support that you need. Until then, Anderson says Zora's Cradle will keep providing what they can and advocating for those in need. Things need to change. And so we have to be the driving force that does that for our parents and our families in need. Though Louisville Metro supports the idea, there's no telling if Kentucky legislators would take up the issue next session or if it have enough support to become state law. Similar bills have been introduced to the state legislature in recent years, but did not move forward. Dakota Sherrick, WDRB News.